Hi! Today I'm going to tell you the difference between balayage and ombre. To me, balayage is when I take hair and I paint it to mimic the sun. It's like spending from June to September at the beach. Ombre is when you start with darker roots and it gradually, gradually, gradually gets lighter until it makes a pop at the end. I went online to try to find pictures so I can explain and I found this picture. And what's wrong with that picture to me is that the hair is cut too straight and there's no movement so you don't see the dimension of colors. So then I said, I had a client maybe with a similar situation. She went to see our stylist Guillaume and he gave her a nice layered haircut to create movement and I painted the highlights on and she went from dark to light to a pop. Hi. Continuing with getting that perfect balayage or that perfect ombre would be getting the ideal cut. My ideal cut for the perfect balayage and ombre is having a layer haircut that creates movement. And you can just see like in my haircut how it has movement and it's not over texturized. Since it's not over texturized you don't have any holes in the back and my color, the highlight that I paint lays on a dark piece which creates contrast. If you take out too much of the hair, the hair becomes thin at the end. If the hair comes thin at the end, the hair will look damaged or dry because the piece is thin. So always remember to get that perfect balayage or ombre. Not too much texturizing, a layer haircut and use color treated shampoos. I use color treated shampoos by Preve and I work at Preve by Laurenti in New York City. Have a great day.